Well, this is going to be my first video talking on Angular topic, wearing a React shirt. When you are building an Angular application, ensuring the security and access to the various parts of your application becomes really critical. This is where Angular guards come into a picture. Guards serve as a checkpoint that Angular router invokes before granting an access to a certain route. They provide a way to protect the routes based on a certain condition and that condition can be a user authentication check or user authorization or the role based authorization or a simple as like some data integrity check. The primary purpose of a guard is to control the navigation and protect the routes from uh, unauthorized access. They intercept the default behavior and then they decide like whether to allow or deny access based on some predefined criteria. This video we are going to discuss about these various types of guard. We are going to have a look into a technicalities of this individual things what separate each from another and uh, we'll apply those to a real world example we are going to write a code and going to see a scenarios in which it becomes a wise decision to use a one guard over another and uh, this is going to be a very interesting video so stay tuned okay so i have created an angular project and uh, this is based on the angular 17 and uh, i just like created a simple components to uh, take us through an uh, example so I have home login and dashboard and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to put a can activate card on the dashboard component so in this case we are going to put that on the dashboard component and as you can see that I have a can activate and then auth card which I created so if I take you the auth card I have a can activate interface implemented which has a next and the state to offsets so we can also access the further properties like the URL parameters or any url parameters or the snapshot data or the, uh, what we are doing here in this can activate card is we are basically calling the auth service is logged in this is basically our custom logic user defined logic in which we are checking if the user is logged in then return a two if it is not then like just simply navigate to a login component so let's see this in action so uh, what i have here is i have the login here but if i just load like a default route then it takes me to a home page and if i you like a login then uh, it basically takes me to the login page where i have a simple login button and uh, this is where i will log in so just to demonstrate like if i put a dashboard over here then uh, i have simply been taken to a login though i put the dashboard and that is because i don't have access to a dashboard route it is disabled due to a can activate art card currently and uh, this is where it is basically checking that part because i am not logged in it basically just navigated me to a login component so if i log in so uh, you can see that i have a change happen here in the local storage i have just simply put a example token just to mimic the login behavior so this is where we are handling that part i have a login method and uh, through the auth service login we are just simply we are just simply writing a uh, example token in the local storage just to mimic the behavior of the login so now you can say that you can go to the dashboard and uh, you can access that and it says that welcome to a dashboard only login user can see this this is how we implemented and if i clear this token and just to a uh, refresh now it won't be uh, available because the token has been cleared and uh, like basically we have been uh, locked out so next type of guard that we are going to understand is can deactivate card so can deactivate cards basically decides that whether the user can leave a component navigate away from a component or not this route is useful in a situations where user might have some pending changes which was not saved the can deactivate routes allow us to ask a user confirmation before leaving the component you might ask the user if it is okay to discard the pending changes rather than save them so let's see a usage in our case so we have a simple form like address and the mail id what we are going to do is like we are going to ask them to have some details in it to input some details and when they click on a go to features which basically take them to a feature component we are asking them okay you have some changes over here do you want to proceed to a next page it will discard the changes so this is the simple use case that has been implemented with the can deactivate route so let's see in the code how we can uh, accomplish this so first thing first we have to do is implement a can deactivate card so i have created a can deactivate guard file over here and uh, inside that i have provided a can deactivate it as a method because if it is a can deactivate type of a card you need to have this method because it works on the interface 
and uh, can component deactivate is the interface that we have inside that you have can deactivate method which is basically observable which returns a boolean promise of a boolean so it can be true or false and uh, this can deactivate card then will basically put here in the dashboard so previously we had a can activate card and uh, we have provided the card configuration the name of and if you go to a dashboard component one thing that you compulsory have to do is to implement this scan component deactivate card and one thing you will say that if i remove this scan deactivate method it will complain me because class dashboard component incorrectly implements interface scan component deactivate property can deactivate is missing in the type dashboard component but required in the can component deactivate so if i take you to the can component deactivate in the interface you can say that it need to have a can deactivate method and if it is true then it will basically follow a next step so which is in our case is navigate to a feature and this basically comes into a picture only when your user is trying to change the route so if i had a simple form where i have just a save button and i don't have a navigation logic or any part of a, or any kind of a logic where i'm not changing a route in my url then it would work in a simple manner as it would do in a normal way so yeah in short if you are changing the url or moving away from a component that time only can deactivate guards kicks in and uh, it basically performs the checks so the next type of a guard is resolve guard so resolve guard delays the activation of the route until some tasks are complete you can use the card to prefetch the data from backend api before activating the route so for instance let's imagine you have e-commerce application the product details may take some time to load and what you want to do is on the click of a button you want to navigate user to a product page so you can use a resolve card there where you can fetch the product data and uh, when a product data is retrieved when it is completely fetched then only you can activate a uh, activate that particular route ensuring that the page displays the product information without any delay and the same example i try to put here in my simple demonstration application so i have a go to products button if i click on it then it should take me to the product list and uh, it is still showing the prompt because i still have my old guard of the candy activate which is still doing its work so i can say either uh, cancel or okay i'll say okay because i want to go to a product list and it basically took me to a product list and this was really quick and uh, i mean of course i just have three products and that is also a, a mock data i kept statically and uh, but what if i introduce some delay so let me put this simple line pipe delay of the 4000 microseconds four seconds and let's see it now so if i say go to product and now if i go to product and uh, there will be a delay of one two three four seconds and then it took me to a product list component uh, so basically resolver is working behind the scene and uh, i'll show you like how i have implemented it so the way it works is you need to have a resolver type of a card so i'll take you from my routes first so in the routes i have a path products product so what i'm doing in the dashboard component is simply router.navigate products and uh, that's where it understand that if there's a navigation to products then uh, consider having a check over a resolve type of a guard and in the resolve type of a guard you can specify like a data also so in this case i am like specifying the products which will be retrieved from my product resolver so you can like specify the object name of a data or any object name basically you can specify in this type of a guard which will be like this is the object which contains the data which has been a page and uh, this object you can then later on use in your component and in our case it will be a products list that i'll use in the product list component and in the services i have a product service which simply returning the list of products like the id one two three just mock products and i have one more service called product resolver this is the actual guard basically i have a class called product resolver which implements the resolve interface and inside that i have a resolve method and this resolve method basically returns the list of products and return data from this resolve get assigned to this data object what we have here now next type of a guard is can load so can load is the guard that basically helps us to have a lazy loading in a more efficient way so uh, basically imagine if you have a angular component that you need to uh, have a lazy loaded component but additionally if you want to put a 
a guard condition on top of it for example if there's a component which you want to lazy load but only if user is authenticated so in that case you can use a can load guard to prevent the lazy loading of that module so here what we are going to do is in this feature component we are going to make it as a lazy loaded component so i have made it a lazy loaded using this syntax where i load a component and import it and when it is basically invoked or it has been called using the router navigation then only this component will load so this is how a lazy loading is done usually then i have put a can match over here and that basically uses this card so i'll take you to this card and you can see that it says that i have a can match over here and i can also use a can load like this and uh, this also will like do a same thing which i do and we can import that from the can load but still it says that can match is also deprecated so it is not recommended to use so perhaps there is something more better that we can use i have a auth card implemented here and uh, in my dashboard component i simply have a button that i will show you i have a go to features button navigate to feature and this is where my navigation to feature happening so let's see this in action so i am currently on a login page and if i do a feature like this then it would take me to a login and not allow me to go to a feature because it is simply not a lot to a guard and if i show you the uh, network tab if i just do a feature here and uh, do an enter basically it doesn't fetch a feature chunk anywhere in my uh, network call here so it is basically not allowing me to go to a feature component but what if i log in and then i go to a feature then you can see that this time it basically fetch the chunk of the feature component so if you see a response of this js chunk you can see that a feature component code is basically fetch lazily and that happened because we had a user logged in and uh, in this case if i again like perform a logout by clearing my token then uh, it would not allow me to do that so if i just do a refresh here i am again on the login page and i am not on the feature page because the user is not logged in and the lazy loading happen if user is logged in and if user is logged in that time only a chunk of that component the js file will basically fetched and rendered uh, so this is how you can optimize a lazy reloaded component if you want to put an additional condition of a guard and last type of a guard that we are going to see is can activate child this is the simplest card among all of them it basically means that if you have a parent to child component relationship between your component then you can basically decide that based on some guard condition whether to load a children or not so it used to be a very commonly used card in a, a older versions of angular where you had a modules or even in the new version of angular you can use the modules but with a standalone component Many developers prefer to not use a module but declare a component as a standalone but if you have to use this type of a can activated child type of a guard then you can basically specify the path of the parent component then like just mention which component is a parent then you will add a can activated child property like this inside that you will configure like which guard you want to put there so you can simply put like authentication guard like you want to have authentication check or you can put something custom maybe you can use a resolver type of guard or you can add something very specific and inside a children's array you will specify that what are the child components of this component that you want to be activated if this card returns true or false so there are these multiple types of cards that you can use depending on your use case and whatever guard that you have here basically these are the prominent one that are already available so angular will keep on supporting it it's not like they are deprecated so you can't use it you can still use it it's just like you have a better alternative available more cleaner syntax uh, that angular encourages you to use with that thank you for watching this video and if you found my video useful then subscribing to my channel is a really good way to show us support again thanks for watching bye bye take care